So I'm going to show you how to graph this log problem. So first, we need to get the log by itself. And we do that by adding 3 to both sides to remove the 3 from this side. So we get 5 plus 3 equals log 4x minus 3. I mean, you do the log circle, take 4 to this power, and then it equals what you have here. So then 4 to the y plus 3 equals x minus 3. And then you get x by itself by adding 3 to both sides. So 4, y plus 3 plus 3 equals x. So then x equals 4, y plus 3 plus 3. So that's an x, but you can't graph that because it's the inverse. So then you just change y and x. So y equals 4 to the x plus 3 plus 3. So that is our equation. So then we graph that y to the 4x looks something like this, exponential. So it looks something like that. So then we shift it pretty up because of the plus 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then we shift it. 3 to the left because of the plus 3 here. So 1, 2, 3, and then we redraw it. And that is this equation. And then you would reflect it across y equals x, which is this line right here. You flip it across y equals x. So it would be 4, negative 2. And then you flip it like that. And that is our graph. But we now need to figure out the domain and range. So the domain for x is anywhere this way of 3 because it stops here. So then x it has to be greater than 3, but not equal to 3. And then for the range, y can equal all reals. Because it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. So that is the sketch of a log with domain and range. OK. So I was just informed that I did mess up with this. So up here, it's negative 3, 4. So it should be 3 here. That's where it should be. And then you would reset it. So that is where it should look like. So then the domain would still be the same. And so would the range. So that's how you graph it with domain range.